Praise the Lord, God bless you. Praise the Lord, God bless you. My name is Minister Red, pastor of Christ Our Life Ministries, located in Augusta, Georgia, on 308 Rose Street, directly behind the Walmart Lowe's on Bobby Jones Expressway, in the state 520, heading west. I pray that you'll join us for our worship services every Sunday at 10 a.m., and for Bible study every Thursday night at 7 p.m., I'm sure you'll be blessed. Oh, just as well as I know you'll be blessed by tonight's Bible study as we're going to discuss and talk about and give revelation knowledge, rhema word from God about the body of Christ. Yes, Lord, we're going to talk about the body of Christ tonight in the name of Jesus, the body of Christ. God bless you, Sister Ann. I love you. Thank you for joining your brother tonight. Always there supporting your brother means a lot to your brother means a lot amen to have you with me my sister amen my sister that i love very dearly thank you for amen wanting to take the time out to get to know about christ and the christ life in his body oh i love you tonight oh i love the body of christ tonight i love the church amen I love believers, amen. I love true believers. Those, amen, that don't play with the new life. The new life we receive after water baptism. Tonight we're going to talk about the body of Christ. We're going to teach it in a way you've never heard it. But you should have heard it the way that I'm going to teach it tonight. Oh, God is good. We want to play a praise and worship song, amen. Give the other people time, amen, to join the telecast because I want to make sure that they're at the beginning when we start the teaching, amen. Hallelujah. I want to make sure that everybody's there when we start the beginning because a nice teaching is very important. But let us go before the Lord with a song of worship, and then we will... Uh, then we will begin the Bible study tonight on the body of Christ. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for joining me tonight. God bless you, Sister Peachy. I love you. You and your husband, Roland. Thank y'all for joining me tonight. Say every day that I wake, I want to start my day with you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Some people, Lord, some people want to please you in a church building, but I, I know what the church building is. Want to please you with everything I'm doing. Whoa, yes. God bless you, Kirk Smith. I love you. Worship your majesty. Worship every day, not just one day a week. Worship you in my heart. And not in the four walls You're gonna learn tonight I know we displease you Sometimes we even Please pastors more than you Oh yes Lord God bless you brother Roland Love you tonight I love you Kirk Smith Spirit walk with me I don't want to feel your presence Only when I'm in the church You see all we're gonna learn about that tonight the temple must stay clean. Spirit must be seen. Holy Spirit, walk with me. Don't want to feel his presence. Only when I'm in the church. This temple. Oh, we're going to learn about the temple tonight. So I enter in the spiritual fitness. Burning flesh, eating spiritual food. Yes, Lord. God bless you, Gloria. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you. Got a mighty word tonight. That took out every little flesh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We have to put more spirit in our day to live clean. Holy Spirit, walk with me. I don't want to feel your presence only when I'm in a... Oh, just the building. Oh, we're going to learn tonight what the church is. I promise you, you're going to know what the church is after the night. I promise you. I don't want to feel your presence only when I'm in a church. This friend, yes, 
This temple must stay clean. Flesh must die. Spirit must be seen. I will trust in you with my heart, not my feelings. Yes. 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 Don't do it. But in everything, acknowledge you. Because he is the head. Please direct my path. Oh, Holy Spirit, walk with me. I'm begging you, Lord. Holy Spirit, walk with me. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Holy Spirit, live in me. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, live in me. Holy Spirit, walk with me. Oh, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, the body of Christ. God is looking for dead men, those who know the body of Christ. I promise you, I promise you tonight, when tonight's teaching is over, you will know exactly what the body of Christ is. You will have no more excuse. Amen. The Bible says, thou art with excuse, O man. Oh, I'm going to leave you inexcusable as to what the body of Christ is in tonight's teaching. I promise you. It sure as I'm wearing a red shirt with a white triple P on it saying pray on. It sure as I'm a black man with glasses on. You're going to know tonight what the church is and what the body of Christ is. I promise you. On my ministry, I promise you, when I get through with tonight's teaching, you will know what the body of Christ is. I promise you. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we love you tonight. We love you in the daytime too. We love you in the noonday. Oh, we love you in the midnight hour. We love you because you first loved us. Oh God, tonight, 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 thank you for allowing, amen, the hearers that have attended this Facebook Live telecast tonight to know the body of Christ the way that I know it in the name of Jesus. Oh, and why I preach the way I preach and why I'm passionate about the passion I am about ministry and why I don't play with church. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we love you tonight. Love you. Yes, we do. Oh, it might be my voice that they recognize and it might be my face that they know. But let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, especially tonight, be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord. My strength and my redeemer. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining me for tonight's teaching on the body of Christ. God is looking for dead men. Men who know the body of Christ. You know, I, I've done a lot of teachings. I've done a lot of Bible studies. There's Bible studies that I teach that, that catch me off guard when I'm teaching it. And I'm pretty sure tonight's will also. But I tell you tonight, I promise you tonight, you're going to know the body of Christ the way you've never known it before. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let us go into the teaching. Thank you for joining me tonight, everybody that's here tonight, to know what the body of Christ is tonight. Tonight you will know it in the name of Jesus. Let us start in Genesis 2, verse 7 and verse 21 through 23. You cannot know the body of Christ until you know Genesis. The first three chapters of Genesis 
encompasses the entire Bible. The entire Bible is within the first three chapters of Genesis. Once you start Genesis chapter 4, the war starts. The war starts between the Christ life and the Adam ignated life with Cain and Abel. But we want to learn tonight about the body of Christ, the church, amen. Let us read Genesis chapter 2. Verse 7 and then verse 21 through 23. Verse 7 reads, The Lord God, the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. He formed man of the dust of the ground. And he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Man became a living soul. Let's jump down to verse 21 through 23 so that we can start this Bible study off the right way. Verse 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on this man that he made out of dust that he had breathed the breath of life into his nostrils who became a living soul. The Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on this man that he named Adam. And he slept. Adam slept. Did you know that death also means sleeping? God put the living soul in a state of unconsciousness. God called, the Lord God called a deep sleep. Oh, oh, he didn't put him to sleep. It, you know, it, it's one thing to be put to sleep, but then it's another thing to be put into a deep sleep. The Lord God calls a deep, come on now, a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept. Oh, the Lord God. God caused a deep sleep to fall on Jesus. When he gave up the ghost. The sleep was so deep that it lasted for three days and three nights. And Jesus slept. And the Lord God. When Adam, after he put him into this deep sleep and Adam slept, he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. The Lord God took one of his ribs and he closed up the flesh thereof. And the rib. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, and Adam said, and the man said, this is now. This is now. Not later, not going to come out, turn into being. This is now. Now faith is. This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she she was taken out of man. Genesis 3, 9 through 13. And when he had made this man, before he had took this rib, he told this man not to 
eat from this tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So, but man ate from the tree. And when he ate from the tree, he hid himself amongst the trees in the garden. And in verse 9, the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. Now, come on now. Adam was in the garden. Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, was in the garden. And he talked to God. He says, Father, if it be thy will, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. But in the garden right here, Adam had not done the Father's will. Adam, where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, who told you you was naked? Has thou eaten of the tree that I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, the woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I, now, 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 now. Adam said, the woman that thou, get now. The Lord God took the rib that out of the man and made a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, this is not bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. But he said, the woman that you gave us to me, She gave me of the tree and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me. He deceived me. And I did eat. And unto Adam he said, Under Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of of thy wife and has eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee saying thou shalt not eat of it curse is the ground for thy sake in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life thorns and thistles cold at from me peachy thorns thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to thee and thou shalt eat the herb of the field in the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground for out of it was thou taken for dust thou art and unto dust shalt thou return. Genesis 2, 22. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man and Adam said this is now bone of my bone and flesh in my flesh the Lord God took a rib from Adam and made Eve out of it just as Eve came out of Adam the church comes out of Christ as Eve came out of Adam Likewise, the church comes out of Christ. God has given us his bones, his flesh, even Christ himself. The Bible shows us that Christ is the head of the church, which is his body. The church is the body of Christ. Every believer is a member of the body of Christ and comes out of Christ. The church, the body of Christ, is on earth. But it is not 
earthly. The body of Christ, the church, is on the earth, but it is not earthly. It is heavenly, yet it is on the earth. Catch that. The body of Christ, the church, is on earth, but it is not earthly. It is heavenly, but it is on the earth. Know ye not, Romans 6, 3 through 5. Know ye not. There's so many of us that were baptized in the Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him because we are the body of Christ. We are the members of the body of Christ. I'm going to teach you that, that the member thing tonight. We are the members of the body of Christ. We are buried with him by baptism in the death. I tell you, just as soon as Adam died, Eve died. When Adam sinned, Eve sinned. When Achan sinned, the nation of Israel sinned. Nothing that Adam done, Eve was not a prisoner to it. Nothing that Christ has done. Nothing that has happened to Christ is the body of Christ free from it. We are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, knowing this, that our Old man is crucified with him. Who is our old man? Our animate nature. That the body of the breath holder might be destroyed. That henceforth we should not serve the breath holder. For he that is dead is free from the breath holder. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we all shall also live with him. Knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more, death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died once. He died unto sin once, and in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. See, in that... Adam died, Adam died and sinned. Christ died unto sin. Adam died and sinned. Christ died unto sin. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. See, 1 Timothy uh, 2, 13 through 14. For Adam was first formed. See, Jesus was first formed. Christ was first formed. Then Eve. See, Christ was first formed, then the church. Adam and Adam was not deceived. See, Adam was not deceived. 
Nor was Jesus deceived. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. But Adam's body was deceived. The definition of the word deceived is to be false to, to ensnare in a lie. You see, you know, no, 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 no. Christ, the, the man Christ, the last Adam. The first man Adam was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening living spirit. See, the, the Adam was not deceived. Adam willfully sinned. Christ willfully drank the cup. And when he drank the cup, we take this cup of communion. We drink the cup. We are his body. No, we not his body. We his, we the members of the body. We go, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Don't worry about nothing. I'm gonna, I got it tonight. I got it tonight. You're going to get it. See, that, see, that's what's the problem today. You know, the enemy ain't deceiving Christ today, but he's deceiving the members of his body. He's still deceiving the members of his body just like he deceived Eve. But the difference between Christ and Adam is Adam sinned, Christ didn't. Holy Spirit, walk with me. 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 Christ is the head of the church. Adam is the head of Eve. Adam is the head of Eve. Eve being deceived sinned and caused Adam to sin. We are the body of Christ. Christ ain't sinning. I'm going to tell you that now. Christ ain't sinning. And I don't know why the members of his body are sinning. Because the head ain't sinning. Second Timothy 3, 12 through 13. Yea, and all that will live godly. See, Christ lives godly, do, do, but do. Does the members of his body live godly? Yea. And all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. All that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived. The body of Christ is members are deceiving and being deceived today. The members of the body of Christ. Now, I'm gonna keep saying members, I'm gonna keep saying members of the body of Christ because I'm finna, I'm finna get there. I'm just laying this foundation right now. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin because you're members of Christ, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord, through the head. Let not the breath holder therefore reign in your mortal body. See, it, in your mortal body. See, yo, yo, I'm, I'm going to show you tonight, your body is not the body of Christ. You, I mean, what you need to do, you need to go stand in front of a full-blown mirror, stand in front of a mirror so you can see your entire body. And you need to look in that mirror and you need to look yourself in the face and then you need to say, what I'm looking at is not a part of the body of Christ. Oh, no, 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 
Mm -mm. No, your, your body, your body is the temple of sin. Pastor Rick, this body you're looking at on this camera right now is the, is the temple of sin. No, I live in the Christ life. I told you. The body of Christ is on earth, but it is not earthly. It is heavenly, yet it is on the earth. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body because you are a member of the body of Christ and you need to stay in the Christ life and be a member of his. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body that you should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield your members, here we go, neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto the, unto the breath holder, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead. When Jesus got up from the dead, he did not get up headless. He got up with a body. When they hung him on the cross, he hung on the cross entire head and body. And your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Jesus says in John 15 and 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches. The branches grow out of the vine. They don't come from the outside and connect. They grow out of the vine, becoming branches bearing fruit. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringing forth much fruit, for without me, you can do nothing. You, you can't do nothing without the head. If I cut your head off, you can't do nothing. See, in the, in the beginning though, the serpent cut off the body, then he got the head. See, now and that's what he's trying to do, the same thing again. He's trying to cut off the, he's never going to get the head, but he's steadily deceiving and cutting off the body. Here we go. 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through for as the body is one and hath many members, the church. That's why Jesus says, in my Father's house are many mansions. The Father's house is the church. The many mansions is the members, the believers. Not, 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 not what you see talking to you right now. Not the black man in the red shirt with the glasses on. That, no, 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 no. That's not the member. The member is the believer. The body is one and have many members, many believers, and all the members, all the believers of that one body, the church. Being many are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, the church. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. It is not earthly but it is on the earth. It is not earthly, but it's on the earth. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, am I not of the body? Is it therefore not of the body? Oh yes, you, 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 you still the part of the body. The problem is, the foot is being deceived. 
which means, the, remember now, the foot is a member of the body. The foot is a believer, a believer that's being deceived. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, oh yes you are. It is therefore not, uh, is it therefore not of the body? Oh yes, you are, you are of the body. You're just being deceived. If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now God has set the members, the believers, every one of them in the church, in the body, as it had pleased him. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, do not, do not try to grasp the body of Christ with your understanding. Do not try to grasp the body of Christ with your understanding. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't know what happened to the video. It's 